the same 256 square kilometer train which I showed you in the previous video but this time with grass and a lot of grass yes I run this in my PC with AMD 6900 XT but consider two things this thing still has a lot of performance issue which should be solved also no game build such a massive train with this amount of grass the scale of this train is not right this train has four valley and the size of it it's three times bigger than the map of GTA 5. Also, after recording this with OBS, the quality of it dropped, and I don't know what is the problem with OBS. These things that I'm running render all the grass in all train chunks, with no exception. Of course, there is some kind of LOD level, which I explain later. First, I test this train in another 4km by 4km train, and there in my machine, without any texture on train, it ran over 800 FPS. After that, to make sure this will work on any kind of the train, I brought this to this train and what happened is that the train crashed with Godot. Yes, you build something and you think this will work, but when the scale of the things go up, the complexity raises exponentially. It took me hours to find the problem. Anyway, now it is working and at least it is not crashing. Before starting to work on grass, I read a lot of Godot source code, especially inside rendering server. And after all, I decided to go with Multimesh. But I found a performance bug inside one of the rendering server code. Basically, each time you change the buffer of the Multimesh, the AAB is going to recreate itself, even if you use custom AAB. And this is really costly operation. I report this bug and I hope they will solve this problem. And if they do, this thing will work even better. So let's talk about how this thing works. You know from my previous video that train create chunks with different level of detail and also merge those chunks in a further distance from the camera. Basically, I export those information which my train has generated and I send them to grass. But the tricky part was that we should convert the coordinate system of the train to coordinate system of grass. So grass does not calculate LOD by itself. It used those information which is coming from the train. And yeah, we have also LOD for grass. Here I did not design a good grass. I just put something together to test this. But basically the LOD level of the grass is like this. The LOD system for grass automatically decreases the density of the grass in further chunks. So what you should do here is to design those grass further away, bigger so they cover more area and the train will not look empty. I am sure some of you can design something better than me. Another thing that you can do, you can also change the material for the grass further away to reduce the amount of the GPU processing. So what is my future plan for this? First of all, I want to create different algorithm for the creating grass. This algorithm only put the grass on the train and it's do no rotation or scaling. I want to create a different algorithm so you can do that. Also, one interesting thing is that because the information for the train is on RAM, we can rotate the grass based on the train normals. The grass system also can be used for other things like rock or anything else that you want to put on the ground. Another important thing that we can do is that we can modify the grass on runtime. Like Legend of Zelda which cut the grass or like when the grass is burning you fade one grass and replace them with another one. But for that we should consider one important thing. The train update is a really complex operation which has many steps to accomplish. First train get updated, then the update information pass to grass and grass get updated. And all of this is in another CPU thread. So if you want to put something between these, it is possible, but it would be difficult. One easiest way is to shut down the train and grass update. Otherwise, you should handle multi-thread and use mutex in many, many places. This will be my program for future after stabling my train plugin. This is not yet complete and I did not upload this on my GitHub. And this grass system does not have any GUI because, because it is not complete. I should change everything inside code. And as soon as this gets closer to get ready, I will merge that to my GitHub repo. Have a good time and until the next video, bye.